Hey guys, my name is Kai, and in the last video, I had asked you guys what types of guides you guys wanted to see, and I'm going to be honest, it wasn't even close. You guys really need help with pivoting, and Fuck. pivoting is easily one of the most difficult skills in TFT in my opinion because of just the sheer amount of fundamentals that you need to have set in place before you're able to execute a worthwhile pivot. And these aren't even just foundations that I can explain in just like a couple of minutes. These foundations have fucking hands. These foundations include some of the following. Knowing how to read another person's board, how to properly manage your economy, and how to gauge board strength. But don't worry, fuck it, we ball. This video is going to be part one of a four-part video series where each part we will go in-depth into each of these specific foundations. The finale will be on pivoting itself where we can assume that you've already seen the first three videos and have your foundations properly in place. Welcome to the first episode of my mini-series on pivoting. This episode is going to be on board direction and compositions. So what exactly is board direction and why does it matter? Board direction refers to a board's premature identity. Or in other words, being able to tell what type of board a player is trying to create. So for example, if you scout the lobby, you see somebody has an Ezreal with a guild crest on it and they're running Zippy. Chances are they're probably playing either guild Deja or they're playing Zaya. That's just one very obvious example of identifying board direction. But why does this matter? Well, there are going to be games where you're going to realize that you're being contested and you may need to pivot your board. In case you didn't know, there's a limited amount of copies of a unit inside of the pool. There's 10 copies of a 5 cost. 12 copies of a 4 cost, 18 copies of a 3 cost, and so on. For example, let's say you're playing Deja 1, but two other players in the lobby have Deja 2. The odds of you finding Deja are now really, really low because six copies of Deja have been taken out of the pool. In situations like these where you're probably going to want to pivot your board if you want to top 4 in the lobby. Also, another reason is that pivoting takes time. Even the best of players struggle to pivot their entire board within just one round. But the earlier you can identify the board direction of the other players in the lobby, the more time you're giving yourself in order to pivot your board correctly. But then this brings up another other question. How do we determine board direction? Well, first, we need to be able to have a strong understanding of all the options a player may have given their relative position. Now, this might sound like you have to memorize every single composition in the game, but that's not entirely true. Honestly, it might even seem like the top players are just well-versed in every single comp. It's almost like they don't go outside or touch grass and just study other top challenger players all day inside. And honestly, from an outside perspective, I wouldn't even blame you. I mean, just look at some of the top challenger players. Like, there's milk. This dude doesn't know what a fucking fried egg is. Wait, what's fried eggs? Huh? And all jokes aside, admittedly, yes, while some players are like that, not saying that milk is like that, it's just a joke, relax, but there's only a very few people that actually go to that extreme. The reality is the top players don't actually have everything memorized. Instead, they just approach the game differently. They just understand their pieces really, really, really well. Now, this doesn't apply to just TFT, but this applies to every single skill that you can think of. For example, back when I used to work as a line cook, I remember I once asked the head chef that I was working under what he thought was the most valuable skill when it came to developing recipes. And his answer wasn't to just take all the recipes out there and just copy them and make them your own, but instead, you just need to understand your ingredients very, very well. This potato is like Kaisa. I can slice it up, deep fry it, throw on some salt and pepper, and turn it into french fries. Boom. That's basically like reader roll Kaisa. Or maybe throw some Cajun seasoning, some Parmesan, parsley, and truffle oil, and boom, that's truffle fries or shiver Kaisa carry. Or maybe I can even take the same potatoes from before, sear them and bake them instead, but make my main focus the salmon, and the potatoes become a supportive unit. This salmon dish with potatoes is basically Dragon Man's release in reroll. Now, obviously, I've made so much salmon in my life, and I've used potatoes so often that I I can see all the different ways you can take a potato and make it into something tasty. Now, even though I have these recipes memorized now, that wasn't always the case. And in fact, I never even tried to memorize these recipes. Instead, I focused on understanding the ingredients themselves. And I can make things whenever I want without even really having to think too much about it because I understand how to utilize my ingredients to their max potential. In TFT, you don't have to memorize every single composition at all. In fact, it's quite the opposite. But what you do need to do is understand your units and understand the pieces that you have at your disposal very, very well. Memorizing comps is just a byproduct of understanding how your units work and how they fit into the grand scheme of everything. Because by building up that familiarity, the end game comps not only become a lot more clear, but they become significantly easier to understand. 
All right. So now that you've ran it down a bunch of times in normals and you've garnered a bit of familiarity with all the units, you're beginning to increase your understanding of all the different lines every single unit can go. So now let's return to board direction. As you scout the lobby in the early to mid game, you'll realize that the pattern recognition that you've built up from unit familiarity has allowed you to scope out what every single player is trying to achieve with their board. So we're going to put that to the test. I'm going to show you a board and you're going to tell me which comp along with which other lines this comp can go. Even if you're not fully familiar with every single unit, that's okay. This part of the video will still give you a glimpse as to what it should look like by being able to identify board direction. Now, every board has about one to three different correct answers, but it's possible you might even be seeing a line that I'm actually not. So please keep that in mind. So even if you find yourself with a different answer, please comment below what you got with the timestamp because I'm, I'm curious to know. Ready for the test? Let's go do it. So the way that this is going to work is that just pretend it is stage 3-2 and you're scouting the lobby. The Namzi is mage and the Mirage is spell swords for every single one of these examples. And you're going to try to figure out which direction or what type of board this person is trying to play. Just try to identify their board direction. I'll also give you the answers after every single board. Are you ready? All right. I hope you guys are ready. We're going to start in 3, 2, 1, go. All right, here are the answers. All right, going to the next one, starting in three, two, one, go. All right. Okay, here are the answers. Gonna go to the next board in three, Two, one, go. Okay, here are the answers. Okay, next one, starting in three, two, one, go. Here are the answers. Last one, starting in three, two, one, go. All right, and here are the answers. And we are done. How'd you guys do? If you noticed that some of the comps, there was a little asterisk that just means that it's possible, but it's pretty unlikely. So feel free to go back into the video if you want to just double check the asterisk stuff. But that's just like a, it's possible, but you know, it's probably not going to happen. But congratulations, you understand the first fundamental to pivot your board consistently. And assuming part two is already out, I'll leave a little video element here somewhere on the screen that you feel, feel free to click on it and you can just go watch part two. If part two is not out yet, I'll just leave my favorite song that i'm listening to right now or whatever like right here but thank you guys for watching if you ever want to catch me streaming live on twitch you can come find me at twitch.tv slash whatnot underscore kai the link to that as well as all of my socials are down in the description box below take care guys and happy climbing